Right, so it's Thursday morning, it's another wet and miserable, windy... No, it's not yeah. windy, is it? No, it's not windy, it's so just very it's just wet. wet. Anyway, it's Thursday, and on Tuesday we're picking up our new moto, so we're really excited about that, looking forward to that. Just really wanted to do a video about the things we sort of uh, had to arrange uh, prior to getting the new moto. So I want to start with the things we've taken out of the van. So yeah. I've got a box over here, let's have a look. Yep. Right, so I've got a box of the things I've taken out, so I'll just go through them. That's a backup battery for the Audi. And that goes in the back of the, the Audi, and that keeps the Audi display on when the uh, the van's switched off. So, taking that out. This is a telly. This is an Avtex telly, and we've got it's two of those. Down. <laughs> Always upside down. <laughs> And uh, we've got two of those, so I've taken those out, obviously, because the new van doesn't come with TVs. I'll get that over there. Uh, I haven't taken that out. I was thinking of changing that, but I didn't. Uh, that's a bit of anti-slip cloth. I'm taking that out. Our famous day clocks. I'm taking that out with the charger. It had some Velcro strips on it. It was just stuck to the wall. Fortunately, the Velcro came off very easily when I took it off the wall. It didn't leave any marks, so that's good. I mean, it always sort of gives me hesitation when I stick things to the wall. Don't like sticking things to, to the Walls, wall. No, no. Uh, this is... Um, yeah, so this is the box with the VIN chip in it. So the VIN chip is this thing here. So I will have to re-register that. But uh, I'll talk about that later. What else we got in here? Got the wires. My rechargeable, rechargeable. My USB dimmable lights with, hang on. My, what are they? They're LEDs with USB charging points. Take those out. I'll put those back in the new van. Uh, two of those. A load of cable, a lot of it to do with the skybox. So when we took the skybox away with this, we used a HDMI splitter. So take that off. Um, all the wiring that was in the this back cupboard, HDMI cables. So if we ever do decide to get a another satellite system then I would use that but uh, in the meantime what I've left is the road pro satellite dome I could stick the camera out the, the window here but it'll get wet so I've left the wiring in there so it's all set up ready to go for satellite left the the brackets because the new van has got brackets, but they're different types of brackets. So that's ready to go for a TV. Same in here. Left the, left the brackets there. Um, cleared all the lockers out. Cleared the both bed lockers. They're empty. Obviously we've emptied all the lockers. cupboards actually that was the other thing I had to find the infill cushions for the front lounge so they're in the wardrobe now, so, in the wardrobe now. <laughs> so whenever when it, whenever you look at used vans or even new vans you'll see that there are infill cushions so I thought I didn't want to miss out on that really no. <laughs> so so people can walk around and say oh look there's where that's where you keep the cushions Obviously we emptied all the cupboards in the uh, shower room. Obviously it's still got the table in there. What else am I missing? Well, you've emptied all these, haven't you? I've emptied all these cupboards, yeah. These are all empty. It's quite sad seeing all the cupboards emptied. Yeah. I mean, obviously the things I've, I'm leaving, like the smoke alarm, because the, the new van comes with smoke alarm, carbon dioxide um, warning thing, I think it was called. 
um, taken taken the satellite out satellite. Satellite. Ta taken taken the satellite navigation out <laughs> get me words right I've taken the rear view screen off as well that's the screen that came with the camera originally and it, it's like a combined mirror and camera it's a bit weird but uh, that's the original equipment. Uh, what I've tried to do is restore it as much as possible to how it was when we bought it. I think that's only fair. Um, some things that I've added that will be staying on here, like the cargo net there, where I've put the awning winder, that's there. But other than that, it's pretty much as we bought it. Well, I've got some original pictures, haven't I? Yeah, you could put in here of what yeah. it was like when we bought when it. We bought when we first saw it when we five years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's just the the things I've had to arrange are mainly done over the telephone. Uh, the insurance. Insurance has gone up £25, presumably because of the higher value of the motorhome. £25 also to do the arrangement, or thereabouts, I think it was £27 has gone up, I think. I think we paid an extra £52 for the insurance, which is not bad for getting, no, for a, no. getting a new motorhome. Um, just look at my notes. Uh, the tracker. This van's got a tracker. Uh, it was fitted when it was new and I've kept the subscription going so it's uh, I had to tell the, them that we're changing the van so they can register the details to the new owner when when they pick, pick it, up. it up yeah yeah um, VIN chip um, I'm, I'm gonna have to inform the people who are the VIN chip uh, register whatever they're called it's the same people as Chris isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah so obviously you need to say that it's changed so if the van was to get stolen they're not going to ring me and yeah, say I found your van <laughs> I'll be going, yeah. what van? Yeah. Um, and also the van came with the Fiat security register, so I've informed them as well. Right. So questions we, we got before, um, why buy a new van? Why, why are we buying a new van? Well, right. <laughs> you, you found this, didn't you, on Facebook five, yeah, from it's, five years it's ago? Yeah, it's strange. Well, when we first picked up the Bolero, um, I've talked to a couple of friends on Facebook and uh, I said in one of the comments we aim to keep this van for five years and I'd forgotten to said that yeah but it will be exactly five years ago this week I think that we first went to look at it yeah, yeah. and we bought it on the 15th of December so we will have had it for five years yeah and I suppose five years is a reasonable um, balance between uh, it being new and being old isn't it really yeah. at five years time it's still relatively new and it's got a fair amount of value in it yeah you're over that initial um, loss of loss of depreciation, depreciation aren't you which we've suffered yeah. with that Bailey compact my sell it we sold it after eight months yeah so, so that, that, that was, was a killer that was. yeah it was yeah. yeah so um so what do you think the depreciation was on this van Are you, do you, do you I think it? it's uh, we've got it's about 65% of the original, original value. value that we paid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, not bad. No. Considering the car has gone from something like 15,000 to five. Well, didn't we work out that the depreciation on the car, the loss on the car was 65%? That's right. And the, <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the loss on the motor is about 35%. Yeah, so it's, it's opposite. And this is, that's in, in line with what we found when we've changed uh, the Starfire and also that original Vista. Yeah. We got yeah. between 65 and 70%. Yeah. You never VED got... was a big consideration, the yeah. vehicle excise duty. Um, the fact that motorhomes are going to be taxed as luxury vehicles, uh, over £40,000 uh, luxury tax comes in. Uh, if the new van that we were buying had a Euro 6D engine, I think we've explained this before, but the van that we're buying, the motor we're buying, has a Euro 6B engine. Uh, the increase in VA, VED, road tax to it, you and me, uh, doesn't apply to our new motorhome. So no. that actually saves us about 2,300 and something pounds in the first purchase. Yeah, and then about three hundred pound each year, doesn't it? Yeah. On the on the tax. On the tax that. every year after that. Because we're getting it up plated, aren't we? To three eight 
3850. Yeah. Now, because we're getting it uplated, it moves it into the private heavy goods vehicle uh, tax band, which is what this current van is in, which means that you pay £165 a year. Yeah. And that's where the £300 a year difference is. Yeah. So, to be honest, it was now or, or we'll, wait we'll for wait two years. For yeah. two years, yeah. We were, we were thinking that we'd buy a new motorhome when we retired in two and a half years. But then we, were, we kept looking and we were thinking, well, the van's going to be seven and a half years old by then. Mm. You know, it's it's then sort of getting into classic status almost, isn't it? Well, it have done probably 65, and 70 yeah, by then. Yeah, getting on it? for 70,000 miles. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I, I assume that someone who buys this might do the average sort of uh, moto yeah. mileage. So yeah. 40,000 miles on one of these vehicles is not a lot of miles. No. But there's a psychological thing isn't there people look at 45,000 miles and think oh that's a lot but yeah. you know you see cars that have done 45,000 miles in the first year you know so. yeah yeah right yeah yeah so it and these yeah. were built for 200,000 mile service cycles these these mm. commercial vehicles mm. Mm. so it's not a lot of miles the other thing was and we've done it before is that we went to a dealer and we saw the van that we wanted yeah and we've done this I think we said four times, didn't we? It's about the fourth time we've done it, yeah. Yeah, so we go to a show, we look around all different ones, and then we come back, and then we go to a dealer, and we see the van we liked at the show. Yeah. And it just seems to be as if it's it's waiting there. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. uncanny, really. Yeah, but yeah. it was the same with the Bolero, wasn't it? Same yeah. with that Starfire. Um, and yeah. the Vista, we'd, we'd seen that when we'd hired one, hadn't we? Yeah. And then we went to the local garage, and there mm. was a Vista. You yeah. know, it's just seems to sort of um, well, it works for us <laughs> it works <laughs> but why change what works yeah. yeah 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 so um the other factor is the, the less we've got less need for these travel seats yeah yeah um, yeah because we're we're meeting people more in the van rather than taking people in the van yeah and we're finding that we're often there's six of us, um, and it's a squash to get six people round around the, round the, the table. Well, particularly when you've got the table in front yeah. of the travel seats, it makes it difficult to get into the travel seats. So you often you end up standing up. I end up standing up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's it's not as comfortable as it could be when no. you've got people round. So a, a, la a double lounge. More like a caravan layout, I guess, it w would be more useful for us. It does mean we can't take people with us. Okay, so why are we part exchanging the van? Well, we could sell the van privately. Um, we've sold cars privately in the past. But with uh, selling the, the van uh, through part exchange, first of all, we get a warranty on the new van. That's important, so if anything goes wrong with the new van, uh, we, we get someone who can fix it. They're a local dealer. It's not too far to go. They fix it. For the person who buys this van from the dealer, they get a warranty, and they, if they bought it locally, they've got somewhere to go for someone to fix it. So it's peace of mind for both parties, really, as far as I'm concerned. Um, we we don't really want to be dealing with this van after we've sold it, is the, the truth of it. Yeah. Um, from our point of view, uh, Todd's will be doing an MOT and service and habitation service on this van before it's sold. We would have had to have arranged that in mid-December, and it cost us about how much? About I seven. I think it was seven hundred. About seven hundred pounds. Last year. So, so it was a fair bit of yeah. fair bit of money to pay for for that. So pe people buying our van will get that the benefit of that, and they get a warranty as well. Mm. So all in all, I think it's a win-win for for both parties. Yeah. Um, big benefit is. We drive our old van to Todd's and we drive away in a new van. Yeah, and that's what I always like about it. You, you turn up in in your van, don't you? And then, yeah, uh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get in the other van and you drive off in that. Yeah. I and mean, it's, it's just. Yeah, it just makes so life easy, easy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 The, other, the other thing is that the things we're taking with us. Um, I was going to bring the folder, but I'll, I'll try and remember. So there's the V5. Yeah, that's the most important document. Yeah, don't forget you have the to B5. Sign various parts of it, don't you? Yeah. In fact, you get a refund of the tax, don't you? That you yeah. paid for the year and yeah. things like that. Which we paid in August, didn't we? So we get uh, a fair bit of it back. Yeah, right? I think it was August. Yeah. Um, the MOT certificate, uh, although it's registered, it, it, you get a bit of paper nowadays, don't you, with the MOT? Yeah. I, I just wanted to take the paperwork with us. Yeah. 
the keys, obviously, a whole full yeah, set of keys. Yeah, yeah, we went through that yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. The radio code. Yeah. If someone wants to change the radio or they disconnect the battery, they need the code for the radio. Yeah. Um, the Fiat security register uh, details. So it's on the Fiat security register, and uh, we're doing that. And the handbook and manuals. Yeah. Okay, so we've still got the, the full set of manuals and handbooks and everything. You see a lot of questions on um, Facebook when people have bought a, a, a van privately and they're going, where do I find the something or other? Mm. Well, it's in a, the, the manual and uh, this van will have the benefit of a full well, set of manuals. Well, it's a great folder, isn't it, with, yeah. with all the manuals in yeah. it? Yeah. So we'll be going next week, uh, Tuesday, uh, we'll film as much as we can. I, I know a lot of dealers don't like uh, people filming the handovers because every handover is different and uh, is personalised. Obviously, someone who know who's used motorhomes before won't need a good as handover as a first some, time buyer. First time buyer. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. So, it's, so it's all so individual, we'll, isn't it? Yeah. So we won't be filming that bit, but we'll no. be filming our experience uh, of picking up the new van and hopefully. Our excitement of picking up the new van. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, perhaps our sadness at getting rid of the old van, but yes. we'll be doing that. What I will do is I will be doing a series of videos, much like when we've hired a van, is a, you know, a getting to know you sort of video, um, more in depth uh, details about some of the new features of the van, and, and we'll, I'll, I'll be going around it and introducing you to the new van. Yeah. The, the other thing is we've been trying to think of a name for it. Yes, and uh, I've, I've somehow <laughs> I quite like the idea of Thor. Yeah. <laughs> rather than your your idea. My, okay. It's a bit not obvious your idea, but no, uh, no. We we looked at the registration and uh, couldn't couldn't make head and tail of it. About the closest we could get from the registration was pink gin. Yeah. So I thought so, of calling it Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I'm not sure that works. Not sure that works. <laughs> no. So, so um, I think Bob Mackay suggested, um, and I thought of, I had thought of it previously. Is Contiki was a raft that someone sailed across the Atlantic on yes. to demonstrate how uh, was it the Atlantic or the Pacific? I think it was Pacific yeah. to demonstrate how the Polynesians got from one place to another. Yes. Of all things. Yeah. Uh, and he, his name was Thor Heyerdahl. Yeah. Yeah. So we might call it Thor. Might call it Thor. Yeah. Yeah. Quite like the name. I it's a bit like Titan or. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Named yeah. after a Viking god or something. Yeah, that's right. No, no, I, thought mm. I quite like that. Mm. There is a real link there, isn't there? Yeah. Whereas your pink gin was a bit. A bit tenuous. Yeah, that's right. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, we're looking forward to the the new van. Thanks for all everyone's comments. Uh, of the last uh, few videos, mm. uh, it's uh, it's been heartwarming to see how people how responded. How very nice people have been. Yeah, yeah so that's been lovely. Yeah, so that's good, and uh, I think we'll catch up with you on the next one. Yeah, which will be next Tuesday, I suppose, or Wednesday. Um, it probably be Wednesday, I guess. Uh, we're picking up Tuesday, so we'll probably need some time to sort everything out. Sort everything yeah. out. So um, hopefully Wednesday, we'll we'll give you the video of us picking it up. And then we're having a first trip, aren't we, the week after? Yeah, we're going to Knaresborough. Yeah, to meet up with Posh Cats. We're going to meet up with Posh Cats again, and uh, they can have a look at the video. So that, again, perfect. We've got uh, two sofas again, isn't it? Right? <laughs> yeah. We met them in the 59 too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you know, yeah. a bit more space. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to Posh Cats, uh, I'm sure they'll be doing a video on meeting up with us. With us, yeah. So, um, yeah. Link up here somewhere. Yeah, and then we meet, meet up with Glyn, don't we, the Beckwist. And uh, the Glyn is coming over. Uh, we're going to have a Christmas meal, and uh, Glyn's going to have a look around the van as well. So if you haven't subscribed to the Beckwiths, that's, right that's up with that. I think that's three <laughs> links now, isn't it? So. Yeah, so you can't do any more. <laughs> no, no, I think you could do no. five, actually. Oh, so. can you? All right. Yeah, so we could, we could do another one if you wanted to. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, and my mum's going to have a look at it as well. Yeah, so, uh, yeah that's right. Yeah. 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 So that'd be, that'd be interesting, so um, it's only really sort of a week and a bit or away, isn't it? I don't think it's even that long, but... No. 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 Then it's going to Moffat in New Year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so plenty of adventures to come. Yeah. If it ever stops raining, well, even if it doesn't stop raining, we'll have some <laughs> adventures. Yeah. Um, 
So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, uh, hit the notifications icon and you get updates when we release these videos. And uh, we'll see That's you soon. Really? Yeah, yeah, we'll see you soon. Yep. Yeah. Bye then. Bye then.